final accounts with adjustment and this module is the final module for the practice question that we were discussing in this module we will finally prepare the income statement and balance sheet but in this module we will also discuss the working notes so please be attentive as you are always okay to learn this working note calculation and to place the figures in the income statement and balance sheet okay so please see how we will work out the things so we are familiar with the format of income statement but i will just take you through over here because uh, because of the size of the screen we are just managing the things just go through once to all this module things and then i will come back this is income statement starting from uh, sales you see okay we are having gross profit here then from gross profit we are subtracting all the operating expenses we are having operating profit and then in the operating profit we are adding other income and this is the net profit thing okay and then in the balance sheet we will see again we have uh, divided balance sheet into parts this is assets fixed assets and current assets area and it is owners equity and liability okay and uh, you see w7 is written here w1 w3 w6 okay all this is in fact the working numbers okay working note numbers and these are the working notes this is w1 we will while reading the balance sheet we will see what is written here and this is working two working three working four okay so this is how we will read this income statement and balance sheet well so please be attentive the thing is that company name is always placed at the top then the title of the document that we are preparing it is income statement okay you can write profit and loss account as well it doesn't make any difference by the way and for the year ended on 31st march 2000x9 this is very important that you have to write this thing for the year ended okay on 31st march we are preparing income statement for this complete year and always put the currency sign at the top of the column because if you will just write 133400 and this currency sign is not given then how come we know that it is rupees or dollar or pound or which currency it is or this is kg or liter or what is this okay so always remember that you have to put currency sign at the top of the column in which you are writing the amounts okay well then sales so for sales we have to look into working for the sales amount is 223400 let's see working for working for gives us sales figure sales minus sales return sales return were appearing in the trial balance furniture which was wrongly credited to the sales 1400 okay and the profit on disposal of uh, motor vehicle uh, which was like 1000 wrongly taken to the sales that we have to subtract from here so that our sales amount is 223400 so this sales figure is final sales figure will be placed in the outer column remember we have already discussed that in this income statement there is no debit and credit column outer column and inner column is used for its working and most inner column is used for some more working so out of sales we have to subtract cost of goods sold thing in fact this cost of goods sold is worked out through opening stock which is appearing in the trial balance plus purchases this is the working for purchases we will look into it and minus closing stock this closing stock is appearing in the adjustment so the formula for cost of goods sold is opening stock plus purchases minus closing stock repeat opening stock plus purchases minus closing stock okay so this purchase figure is worked out there in working 5 in which we have to add freight and carriage inward remember this freight 
is inward if nothing is mentioned with this. Otherwise, outward would be mentioned. If outward is mentioned, then it becomes our selling expense. Carriage, as there was carriage outward, we are not putting that over here. Freight inward and carriage inward will be placed here. So that now the total purchases are 134,600. Let's see what does this working five tell us. That purchase minus purchase return minus office equipment. Because there was an adjustment in which office equipment was wrongly debited to the purchases account. So that is now being subtracted from the purchases account. So that our purchases are equal to there we go. 133,400 plus freight plus carriage inward total 134,600 and cost of goods sold is 152,600. Remember, you should have calculators with you. Please, you are students of accounting and calculator is something should not be missed. Okay. Now, subtract this 152,600 from 223,400 which is sales. Exactly, you get 70,800, the gross profit figure. From this gross profit, we have to subtract all the operating expenses. Salaries, we know 11,000 was appearing in the trial balance. 100 is outstanding salary, total 12,000. Go down rent, same story. Interest on loan, we have discussed its adjustment that all these are payables or accrued or due which we are adding in their amounts which we have already paid so that the final expense figure is 12,600 for these three items respectively. The rates and taxes straight away appearing in the trial balance we placed it here as operating expense. Discount on debtors. So there was an adjustment which was wrongly taken to the discount income, discount received account. So from there, we have extracted this 600 and placed over here. So 2,400 plus 600 gives us 3,000. Carriage outward, printing stationery, electricity, all these are our expenses. For insurance premium, yes, there is an adjustment. Just have a look on that, which was here. Yes, insurance prepaid. So 5,500, 4,000 was for drawings. Yes, it is appearing over here. It is taken out from here and being placed here. Remaining 1,500 is for 15 months. 300 is the prepaid insurance so that the remaining balance of 1,200 is our insurance expense. So that's over here. Insurance expense 1,200. General office expenses are 3,000 taken from the trial balance straight away. Bad debts, 1,500. You do remember that there was an increase in provision for bad debts. So that is being debited to the bad debts account and credited to the provision for doubtful debt account so that our bad debts increased by 1,500. But remember, there is few more adjustment into it. And ultimately, we are having this 1500. So what are those adjustments? In fact, we had opening balance of provision for doubtful debts with us 3000. And increase in provision was 1500. So that total amount is 4500. Bad debts which were transferred to the provision are 2000. These are given in the adjustments. And in fact, these were the bad debts which were written off during the year. Okay. So those bad debts which are written off during the year are transferred to the provision account because the provision is always kept to meet the bad debts. Remember this thing as a tip. Provision is always kept or created to meet the bad debts. Bad debts are 2000. Okay. And provision which we have is 4500 ultimately. So we are meeting this with our provision 
and then we are creating our provision with 1500 over here so that the income statement will be debited with 1500 with the amount of bad debts and we are having a carry forward balance of provision for doubtful debt equal to 2500 this is the working for provision for doubtful debts with us okay now comes bank charges motor expenses and depreciation for depreciation we have already seen the working and the table for fixed asset schedule this depreciation was taken from there so operating profit is 14400 this operating profit is taken over there for adding income still we are in the income statement please other income is being added in the operating profit this other income includes discount received 1600 appearing in the trial balance you can see in the trial balance and this 600 is the adjustment total 2200 and profit on sale of motor vehicle 1000 total comes to 3200 add in this you will get this final net profit figure of 17600 okay now this is the balance sheet of al fanar stores it is also known as statement of financial position as at 31st march x9 and these are the two columns for amount place currency unit here okay and fixture furniture and fixture equipment building motor vehicle we have already discussed that these are the net book values that we are taking from working one just see this working one we have already seen this working in the earlier module and this final net book value is taken to the balance sheet okay for furniture equipment building and motor car well so this is here and then comes current assets we know closing stock is our current asset debtors we have to work out over here in working three sundry debtors minus the amount of provision for doubtful debt this is the carry forward balance we have to subtract here we go this is the carry forward balance 2500 to be subtracted from the debtors we get 83500 amount very well okay and then prepaid insurance we have already worked out in working six it is 300 prepaid insurance cash in hand and cash at bank are appearing in the trial balance as it is we'll place over here the sum of fixed assets is 86,900 and the sum of the current assets is 131,800 total comes to 218,700 well now see owner's equity capital we are taking from the trial balance as it is 162,000 net profit was worked out here yes 17,600 net profit will be taken here okay and this 46000 is the amount of drawing just have a look on this working drawings 12000 appearing in the trial balance 4000 are the drawings which are taken from here insurance paid for the owner by the business it is drawing and 30000 is the building which is being used by the owner for his personal purposes so the total amount of drawings is 46000 will be subtracted from the capital amount the remaining balance is 133600 which is our owner's equity so remember the formula for owner's equity for our sole proprietorship opening capital plus net profit minus drawings okay good so the liabilities long term liabilities loan from bhutta that will be taken over here and then current liabilities creditors for motor car that we purchased during the year then creditors appearing in the trial balance these are the trade creditors against our purchases outstanding expense is 1500 and interest on loan payable is 600 so total gives us 85100 and this 218700 is equal to the asset side so these are the two sides balance sheet and a balance sheet assets and balance sheet owners equity so what we see that we are done with our income statement 
we are done with our balance sheet. We have understood the notes and the important tips to remember the ITTRs of this module are finally with us. We have finished a complete comprehensive scenario on final accounts with adjustments. So the ITTRs over here are that the items appearing in the trial balance will have single effect in final account. Okay. And except for the following heads, all other heads appearing in the trial balance reveal closing balances. This is in fact very important tip. In the trial balance, the trial balance we extracted on the closing date, all the accounting heads are giving us closing balance except these few. In fact, the heads of accounts, which are owner's capital opening balance. Okay. Then provision for depreciation, if that is appearing in the trial balance, would be opening balance. And provision for doubtful debt appearing in the trial balance, opening balance. And the stock appearing in the trial balance is opening stock unless it is mentioned that it is closing stock or it is mentioned that the purchases given the trial balance are adjusted with the opening and closing stock things. In that case, the closing stock will be appearing in the trial balance. Otherwise, stock appearing in the trial balance would always be opening stock. Okay? So, thank you very much for your attentions.